Alright, so I figured I'd do a video on the stacked text, but also add an image into it. So you just kind of give you another idea for what to do for a project. You know, it's not just limited to text, you can use images as well. So I've already got my images loaded in here, and uh, I'll be using a plane and the word twin otter, which is the name of the plane. Cool. And I've already got them moved into their separate vector layers just to um, speed things up a little bit. All right, so the only other thing we'll need is a, a border for machining. And we'll use that a little bit later. And we'll also move that to the default. I haven't quite figured out how these uh, uh, clicking on it and then it adds it to that that layer at that time so um, that can get a little interesting um, but we'll make it work cool so uh, the other thing we'll need is a combined layer so we'll turn on both of these and let's highlight them uh, copy and paste I just use control C and control V and move vectors to new layer and we'll call that combined. Cool. And then let's turn off the other two and make sure that, yep, we've got that in combined. All right, cool. So right now I have things grouped um, just for ease, but we're going to have to ungroup them. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Ungroup all and ungroup all. All right, cool. So um, for this, we need we just need the outer portion for the combined for now, and we're gonna need to copy that three times um, for our subtract vectors because we have these inside pieces. So we're gonna copy this three times and that's because if you go to some it's going to delete this um, outer portion when you go to use the subtract tool so one and select this guy and uh, sorry select this one and then this one and then vector merge subtract and see how you're just left with that um, inner portion and then it's deleted uh, one the top layer of this so then we go over to this side and we select that and we select the outline again vector merge subtract and we're just left with I must not a um, copied it enough, so let's one more time. Control B, okay, and vector merge, subtract, cool, and then we're left with one last one for our final merge, and this time we're going to do a weld rather than a subtract, okay. We've selected all the outer portions. Do not select this inner portion, otherwise it's going to get rid of it because it's on the inside. Um, so this time we're going to use vector, merge, and weld. And you see how it's um, kind of combined the outer layer of the uh, plane with the um, with the uh, words behind it. So we'll use that for our second layer of machining. Cool. So now we can turn off our combined layer and we'll, I'm going to use the otter portion for the top layer and we select this, the outer border and the otter and this will uh, tell it to machine everything outside around and then it'll machine on the inside of the uh, props and everything like that. Cool. So we go to toolpath, 2D area clearance and let's machine this down to 
uh, about say an eighth of an inch and we select our tools you don't really need to select um, this many but if you want the more detail the smaller the bit or the smaller the bit the more detail so there you go and I already have my uh, my uh, material set up to three quarters of an inch and we'll call this otter and let's calculate cool and there you have it it machines everything around um, just the plane so that's our top layer cool let's turn that off and turn just the outer off okay now we turn on the combined layer and now we're going to select the outer layer and the entire thing and this is going to machine around the entire layer the entire combined layer and this time we can start at eighth of an inch because we've already machined everything else and let's do it down to let's say 0 0.4 and we've already got our tools in there everything and let's call this uh, combined cool and calculate takes a little while cool and a machine and see how it got inside of that O and the R now and let's simulate and there you go an image with on top of uh, text for just another idea. I think uh, this turned out kind of cool. I wanted to do something different. Um, wasn't didn't really have a project for just two layers of stack text or anything like that that hadn't been done already. So um, there you go.